Welding Design and Drafting Welding is any metal joining process wherein coalescence is produced by heating the metal to suitable temperatures, with or without the application of pressure, and with or without the use of filler metals. Utilizing Weld Assistant on NX10 welding design and drafting are made easy. This is described and illustrated in this tutorial on an assembly of blocks that have not been united or constrained. Right click on the ribbons bar and activate Weld Assistant. Enter into it. Starting with Groove. As you can see here, we're giving several different types for square, V, bevel, U, J, flared, flared bevel groove to create welds. Um, these are done by selecting the first and second face sets. You're able to manipulate any of the contours or the cross section dimensions, the limits of how far you would like to start and end the weld. You're able to create skip welds with different number, length, spacings, and also activate different weld characteristics and assign weld PMI. To start, we will do an example of each. Then V. Then Bevel. Then you. Then J. Then flared. Then flared bevel. Now we can go to Fillet, there's different fills to create a layer on top of a surface and bead for different types of cross-section shapes. We will be creating a joint mark with a symbol at this point using a reference of overlap for these two sheets. We will create this as the first set and this as the second. We will specify our point, which is existing here, its y direction, 
and we will give it an ellipse. We will also put a, a weld point at this mark location method of point. There's different types, resistance spot, arc spot, clinch, dollop, weld nut, weld stud. We will use arc spot. The same referencing, overlapping, create the two face sets. And hovering over it, you're able to see the arc spot. Other utilities to be aware of in Weld Assistant are Connected Face Finder, which finds missing connected faces for weld points, datum locators, and measurement locators. Weld Advisor, which validates your weld points. Fabrication Label, which allows you to place a label in a 3D environment. And also importing and exporting CSV files, which are comma separated value files used in Excel. You would select all of your welds and choose your desired attributes. And it will generate an Excel file like so. With all the information you desire for the welds. From here, we can go to application and enter into drafting mode. We will upload an isometric view. And edit it. By selecting the view, right clicking and entering into settings. First, we will turn off the UV grid lines, which are the crosshatch lines on the welds. Then we will include model curves to take out this type of wireframe. Then we will render the style fully shaded so you're able to distinguish the welds from the material. Now we are able to dimension our welds. We have a custom annotation in Simons NX that we're able to specify our welds and any type of annotation that can pertain to the weld. But we will use auto weld symbol, which is a more user-friendly dimensioning style. We select our view and then our objects. and then position them.
Now that the positioning is appropriate for the dimensions leader lines, we are able to insert any further annotation. This one is all the way around. This one is double sided. Same for this one. And this one. And that concludes our welding tutorial.